Head coach Peter Fuller here with Chattanooga Football Club. You're getting ready to watch Cal United versus Chattanooga Football Club from the bubble in Detroit. I'm looking forward to joining you for this game. All right. Last game of pool play. Chattanooga FC versus California United. A, a win or a tie here puts us through. Cal United, um, unexpectedly, certainly I think for them, ended up losing 2-1 to one to, uh, to LA Force, um, their crosstown rivals. So they're in a position now. They've got three points. We've got four. And the bottom line is a, a draw doesn't do them, doesn't, doesn't help. Um, they've got to beat us. Um, and uh, we approach this in, in the same manner that we approached the, the um, Cosmos game. Um, we made some, we, we rotated the squad a little bit, um, put some guys in that hadn't been, uh, hadn't been playing, um, and uh, put ourselves here in a position, uh, put ourselves in a position to, to give some guys some playing time and make sure that uh, we tried as best as we could to keep people fresh. So, um, corner. To be fair to Darwin, I know he was upset with himself here. He shouldn't have been. He, that first touch was magnificent in a crowd and under pressure back to goal. He did really, really well here. Watch this. And he, and he knows he's got to get it away quickly, and he, and he does. He just gets up under it a little bit. Uh, but he did really well, really well right there. This boy right here, Omar Nuno, is an absolute handful for us. He ends up scoring their goal, and, and uh, here's a really good ball. This, this ends up leading to our goal. Watch this. Obviously, Cam overran it to start with. Sean came in behind him and clipped it forward immediately to Darwin. And again, Brian, look at the run. What a good run by Vement. And, and you can see how much that means to Darwin as well. And I, I'm happy for Darwin there. Um, he is a good passer of the ball. And I don't think he gets near enough credit for that. And some of it's his own fault because he didn't pass it sometimes when he should. But the truth of it is, I mean, so he frees himself from his man, stays nice and wide, lets Brian now kind of float and now slips it. Perfect timing. I mean, they couldn't have gotten it more right. It was fantastic. Telling you that guy right there. Parents that are watching at home. He's, he's one of the toughest guys I've ever coached. And, and his, his mom and dad did a great job with him, because I'll tell you what, doesn't complain, doesn't moan, just gets on with it, does his job, looks himself in the mirror first before he looks at other people and starts pointing fingers. He's a terrific pro, and uh, we are ever so lucky to have him wearing a Chattanooga uniform. And uh, uh, boy, does he, does he work. Um, and you, you, you parents at home, you tell you, he's a good one to have your kids watch because he's, uh, the little things that he does and the dirty work that he does, and he does it without complaining. I'd love to see more and more players like that. Poor Sean Russell here. He, uh, he, he got, uh, got himself a little bit tangled up here on this cross and, uh, uh, got his, uh, didn't get his feet sorted out, and uh, that's the best uh, best save Red had to make the whole half. Actually, it was off of Sean. <laughs> Look at this. Waltrip takes it through the middle middle of the park, and what a strike he he puts on this. Watch this. Keeps it nice, tight, close control. Gets himself in a position, and he hammered that. Crossbar still shaking. These guys are really good. They're, they're such a good team. Donnie Ebert has done such a good job with that whole club. And again, Omar at the back post, Nuno finishes it. 
and it was coming, you could see it coming a little bit. We made a big mistake early on in this sequence to, to, to put them in a position here. But uh, uh, good back post ball. Um, <laughs> that's one of those, uh, uh, some coach I used to have would, would call that accidental offense. Uh, the guys ended up looking to try and shoot and uh, completely uh, completely mishits it and it ends up being a perfect pass to uh, Nuno for the finish. So it's coming right here. So uh, you don't see it in this clip, but uh, um, he couldn't he couldn't have hit that worse. So, uh, um, but a goal is a goal. So um, and. Uh, Another angle, another look, back post ball, comes out, oops, oh, great pass, goal. So, and uh, you can see it's pouring rain at this point, weather's changing as I remember, I think it was beginning to get real cold. Here's Omar Nuno again, uh, and the second time Ryan does a good job to get a block in right there, but this, this gave them a lot of... A lot of energy right here, and uh, um, and they they came at us for a little bit there. At the end of the first half, they came at us in waves. So second half, well struck ball, and uh, some good good build up from them. done by Red. Pretty good position on the cross. Does really well right there. Starting position was excellent. And uh, reads it, picks the spot he's going to come through and he gets it as well. So another good chance. Second half. Well struck ball. There they come again. Again, great entry ball by Waltrip into Nuno. Just can't get himself turned. Sean actually does well right there. Um, holds him up. Makes him drag it across the face of the face of the goal. So, um, but uh, look at Brian here again, fighting, scraping, scratching. Darwin comes in for the pieces right here. But uh, watch this. We want to talk about hard work. DMA. Again, great strike. Just a bit unlucky. You see in a lot of these clips, Brian's involved in a lot of this. He had a terrific game in this one. Really did, played really well. Um, I'm glad he got rewarded with a goal, he deserved it. So, um, but uh, again, still 1 1. You know, this guy dives on the floor like he's been shot. Referee decides he's going to start pointing his finger and saying, Well, you've repeatedly fouled and we're going to give you a yellow card for it. I mean, I think that got an Academy Award nomination actually. Um, Cam making sure that the guy gets his name spelt right when he books him right there. So. Again, not totally sure what that was for or what the deal was, but uh, clock runs out on Cal United. Chattanooga F FC gets their fifth point of the bubble, and that puts them into the semifinals. And again, we 
the idea with the bubble for us was to, our goal was to make sure that we made it to the semis. I looked at it as two separate tournaments. The first three games and then, and then the second tournament is a knockout tournament and uh, um, we won the first one, uh, not, not so much in the second one, but uh, um, a lot of how we played and the way that we approached these games, particularly the Cosmos game and the, and the Cal United game, was based on, on the situation that we wanted to put ourselves in by the end of the two weeks and, and, and we were able to do it. So, ever so proud of the guys. Um, that worked very, very hard, um, and uh, um, more often than not in this game, the more you work, the harder you work, uh, it's amazing how much luckier you get, and the other side of it is it's amazing um, how things tend to balance out. You, 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 at some point you're going to get rewarded for your work, and these guys had put it in, I can tell you, so did very well. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time.